everyone we are bsj tv and today we are going to be interviewing the bsj mun slash model united nations group here we have kiara and sai from year 11 what's up guys you guys are done with mocks yeah yeah oh the first question is you know what is mun mun like this is the essence of it it's just a simulation of a real life united nations conference hence model un so uh people represent delegates of actual countries and they share the same stances the beliefs so they debate within these so-called councils which you may have heard of the who uh unep unicef so these are what are, are called councils and they discuss on one global topic or issue combating wildlife poaching or illegal trafficking over the course of several days you have speeches debate and at the end you have a solution awards the best part of mun is the adrenaline the awards and the accomplishment it's amazing for you know university and then your cast project in ib so vijiman is one of the biggest high school muns in indonesia the conference will span across the 9th and 10th of april 2022 please save the date it's online and free of charge, so go ahead and sign up. Why are you guys passionate about MUN? I've always thought of MUN as a way to connect to a broader community. And over the past year, I've experienced of doing so. I've grown a lot in MUN, and it's been a big part of my journey throughout the past year. It's helped me in so many aspects from public speaking, confidence and presentation of my ideas and views for myself mun in general has been a gift in early 2020 i would literally shake with every speech i would make going up on stage was not an option i'm sure it's the same with many of you guys but over time like over um practice with mun i realized that with hard work obviously comes progress my goal with bsj month is to share this gift with everyone um to show the youth age doesn't dictate capability i attended I think, I don't know if you remember me, but I attended like a few. I remember you, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> one session, <laughs> one session. When I when I went to that session, right, it, it, it seemed very lively and it seemed very like interactive because it was in person, right? How have you adjusted that to the online atmosphere now that everybody is mostly online? Deep question, <laughs> Rohan, good job. There's not much difference, to be honest. Wait, I just want to highlight that we really had no option to make an offline because obviously uh, COVID-19 maintained the liveliness. We have two keynote speakers we're incredibly grateful to have. Um, first is Miss Imelda Harsono. She's another one graduated with honors from Monash as a director of a nationwide hydropower plant. I think this is a great uh, opportunity for people who not only do MUN, but for people who want to learn about business, uh, women empowerment, and clean energy. Um, Kiara, like you specifically typically talk a lot about empowering the youth like with your cases for care project and MUN. Why are you so passionate about encouraging the youth to make a change? The youth are underrated. To be honest, we have a lot of power, but we are often told that we can't do it because we're too young or we should wait until the future when we're a little older, we have little experience. I think that it's really important that we empower the youth. We see significant figures um, rising in the status quo. We see like Greta Thunberg, Malala, these are all members of youth. Our goal with BSJ Mon is to break those boundaries, right? Our goal is to empower the youth to ignite change because that's what Mali UN is all about. It's about young people making a change and learning about the world that they can make a difference. I would like to ask like both of you individually, personally, what have you gained from the experience of joining MUN? Previously, I don't think I would have ever been brave enough to essentially go to another person and essentially talk to them about new issues. I think MUN has really given me the ability to do so not only in conferences, but outside as well in like day-to-day -day life. So it's really rewarding when you join these MUN conferences and you start from zero and you continue practicing until you get to the position that we are at, you know, essentially running a whole conference. Here we actually won at Harvard, India, and a few weeks back I won at Yale, MUN. So it's really rewarding. If you have any words of encouragement or advice to people that are, you know, interested in joining but nervous about it, what would you say to them? Give you a taste of what MUN is like. Really nerve wracking, but so rewarding. So it's like high risk, high reward. But for the beginner delegates that maybe are a bit nervous, we've all been in that position. Even me, um, running this conference right now alongside with Sai. We're like really nervous, we're shaking, we're stuttering. MUN is a really, um, 
close-knit community. For those beginner delegates, you go into the conference and there are actually people who are willing to help you. So is there anything you would like to announce or to promote? For example, like upcoming events, fundraisers, or sharing a milestone? Thank you, Kayla. So I want to give a shout out to our chairs uh, slash judges who are going to be judging the delegates. Eight talented runners uh, from five different countries. So that's China, India, Japan, Philippines, and Indonesia. So we have two platforms for people who want to join MUN. One is our club at school. That is the MUN club run by Miss Wong. And um, apart from that, if you really want to delve into MUN, like straight on, YOLO. Just join the conference and you get a full taste of MUN. Thank you guys. We wish you guys all the best and good luck for the conference later. Good job guys. Thank you for coming to talk with us as well. See you guys later. Thank you guys. Well done. Bye bye.